Okay, so after an immediate fail of an attempt at setting this up, guys, sorry, you won't be seeing that fail, although I could upload it and it'd probably get laughs. Uh, welcome to Let's Play Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 2. Uh, the Vanilla, this is the last mission, this is the last stand. I'm the Alpha Wolf, and my friend joining me is... Beefing his, uh, his entry. You're welcome, Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. So uh, what we did was we went out, and uh, over the course of about an hour, we went ahead and uh, I got into a shouting match over nothing, and we had a few. Uh, don't worry, it wasn't with my friend. Uh, we we had a few new weapons and pieces of equipment to collect. I'm going to go ahead and screenshot these for anybody who wants to get an idea of what's being used. Uh, I took my teleport pack off my force commander. I know that's that's going to shock a lot of people. Uh, who watch this, and then they're like, what the fuck, you've been loving that thing the whole time. This sniper rifle requires setup time. Uh, it, it's actually much less setup time than than your standard heavy bolter and whatnot, as I've discovered, and it's actually a really damn good weapon for Cyrus to have. It hits like a truck. The problem with it is that it's going to be a little difficult for me to use this with him when he needs to be more mobile. I'm considering giving him the, uh, what is this, the Death Dealer bolter? Because yep. the Death Dealer Bolter is actually pretty, pretty uh, nice and fun, and it would be a good idea to try and showcase, I guess, what he's like when he's got a bolt gun in his hand. Well, we're Although gonna fighting, we're going to be fighting through Helen oh, back, so the Bolter <laughs> might actually be the better choice. It might, uh, but I'm, we're, we're going to try to do this with a sniper rifle because I think we can handle this. Uh, we've got his his traditional bombs and explosives. Uh, I'm I think I'm going to take the demo pack off of him for the cluster mines though because the cluster mines are probably going to be a lot more helpful than, than the remote detonation charges and then Tarkus uh, we went ahead and we put Tarkus back in his Terminator armor we finally got him a storm bolter so we can showcase what he looks like when he's holding a storm bolter there you go you're all welcome Very, you can all go home now get out get out of my damn let's play no I'm kidding <laughs> uh, we've got Cyclones we've got the Rosarius and then we're going to start with Thaddeus. We've got a couple of purity seals on Thaddeus to basically take up his stuff. He's not going to get anything out of this range damage, but he is going to get a nice fat boost to his energy regeneration, which is very nice. And then he's got uh, this Thunder Hammer and Storm Shield. This is a nice Thunder Hammer and Storm Shield, actually. I'm really glad we found that. Um, the, uh, the, holy ahead, on, the Holy Arms of the Champion? Yes. And then we, the... for Avatus, we put a missile launcher on him for the end game. Uh, we could give him a bolt gun. We could have kept the plasma cannon, but the plasma cannon just wasn't doing the damage we needed it to anymore. It's not powerful enough. And uh, he's carrying the locator beacon and the signum, which is fine by me because he's pretty much an artillery, uh, an artillery whore as it is. And that really, really suits him. Uh, and Davy and Thule, you guys are going to be happy about this. We finally got a damn assault cannon for him. Oh yep. my god, we've been running around the entire LP without a damn assault cannon, and I was really, really sad about that, but we found one that was a guaranteed drop from a mission. It's it's normal difficulty, so we can get away with using it. Even if we couldn't, because it was hard mode, I would still do it anyway, because I know I can do it. Uh, an assault cannon is just straight up fun. Yeah, and I kind of spec'd him towards range over melee anyway, because I find his ranged play to be a little bit better, in my opinion. Uh, that said, his melee damage, you'll notice, guys, even though I put an assault cannon on him and took off his power fist, his melee damage is 688. So... Our boy's built to smack. Yeah, boy. it's not like he lost a lot. Uh, the Force Commander's toting around a really badass Thunder Hammer and uh, his power armor. And a jetpack. That makes him look absolutely badass. Oh my god, this is one of the most glorious setups for him that I've ever seen. I know I went over this a little bit at the beginning, but I just wanted to show that off again. Uh, <clears throat> so, that's basically what our loadouts look like. Uh, what? Oh, before we start, uh, this level 20 Dreadnought Claw, Fist of the Furioso. The yeah! last vener oh, sorry. sorry. The last venerable Dreadnought to bear this mighty weapon into combat earned the incredible distinction of destroying a Chaos Warhound Titan. A crippling blow to the leg halted to the mighty God Machine's advance. The Dreadnought then hauled the Titan down, tore asunder its pilot compartment, and ruptured its power core. 
The explosion annihilated a large portion of the Chaos Force, and after the battle, only this fist remained, still clutching the twisted form of the Titan's mutated pilot. Ooh. That's fucking red. That is just straight up metal. I mean, everything about the Warhammer 40k universe is metal. And with that incredibly metal note, let's go ahead and hear the briefing from the last stand. Commander, your cruiser will punch its way into the mass of smaller Tyranid ships guarding the main high fleet. Once in position, the Armageddon will drop your hand-picked squad's fire drop pod toward the base of the massive capillary tower that is feeding the main hive ship. Thanks to the data you collected earlier, Apothecary Gordian has readied a special biotoxin. You are to poison the tower, and through it, the brain of the hive fleet itself. This should deal a lethal dose to the hive mind, and send the hive fleet into disarray. One way or another, this will be the last battle of the defense of Aurelia. May the Emperor grant us victory. Angelos out. And on that awesomely manly note, here's our bonus intelligence. Units must defend key points during this mission. Many blood hive or brood hives are present in this target area. And the key critical intelligence for this mission, this mission ends the Dawn of War II campaign. The Orbital Command is also going to let you know all squads eventually deploy. So even though we didn't pick Thule to start, don't, don't anybody worry. We will get to show off what that assault cannon can do. And it is some of the funniest shit that Thule is capable of. I almost considered doing a mission on camera that was optional just to show it off, but I feel like this mission's also going to do that very nicely. So here we go. Should, hopefully. Oh, it will. It will. There's, there's, there's plenty of shit for him to shoot in this mission. <clears throat> the vile intelligence at the heart of the Hive Fleet has made itself vulnerable. Strike as its tendrils tap into the planet below. Feed it the poison we have developed. No matter the cost, you must bring it low. Man, the Everglades really turned into a shithole, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, sorry to any Florida to watching brothers. this. Oh, that's Remember, gonna... That's gonna get us fried. Through massive you asshole. This <laughs> is your fucking fault. You have ruined I, this war for us. I regret many veins nothing. In the These veins are where you must deliver the biotoxin. So I'm considering doing an LP of Resident Evil 4 on the PC, just because I know that game way too well. And I know I can actually do a very competent Let's Play of it. Armageddon, come in. Come in. The first of the veins is ahead. Move out. Um. Yeah, you heard him, boyos. Let's wreck face. Hey. Space Marines approaching. Sergeant Merrick, There's... report. Xenos forced down our Valkyrie, sir. Scattered us across the damn landscape. It'll take more than a few bruises to take us out of the fight, though. So this the 85th Vendolent are going to be backing right. us up. I'm sorry, go ahead. Third squad down to this six men, Sergeant. This is why I Imperial Guard. No survivors from second. Right. Morris, form survivors into full squads, and then inventory what gear we have left. Fagan, get the remains of the first squad into a perimeter, and then get that blasted Auspex working. Okay. The chapter. Before you the chapter. do that, I'm going to set a couple of mines. For the chapter. You do what you gotta do. Because uh, I'm crap. fairly certain oh, I know crap. where these guys are gonna come I've... from. What? I forgot to take the fucking tarantula turrets off of Avidus. That's not gonna matter by the end of this. Eh, fair enough. I'm getting. Yeah, I've got a squad of four tarantula turrets right here. <laughs> you know, you pretty much do, actually. Okay, go ahead and poison that thing. I'm gonna set Cyrus up. Biotoxin delivery. Underway. Movement detected. Aliens on approach. Enemy attacks from the north. We... All right, men. These things are here to take our worlds away from us. 
I, for one, do not intend to let that happen. Form up into defensive firing lines. All right, I'm going to go ahead and plant a detonation charge here. People love to give the Imperial Guard shit, but they hold the line. People give them shit because they don't have anywhere near as much, like, raw power and, in many cases, courage and indomitability as Space Marines, but a lot of people don't, I, I feel, don't really take into account that Concentrate, last These people are not warrior based Open genetically fire. augmented. They're not enhanced. Ready for battle. They're not, uh, Rest not. you know, mind fucking religiously zealous and insane like a lot of space marines are. They are the just yes. Uh, uh, like complete. except under special circumstances. Um, but. They are just people. They are totally human, normal people. And that makes all the difference. Because these guys, they don't have all of these sacred relics and genetic augmentations that my soul for, uh, right here, who is powerfully and potently smacking down all these weird attacks. They don't have uh, the super armor that Space Marines are wearing. You know, they, they just have what they have. And that's... That's a lot to say when these guys complete. are still willing to face this kind of nightmare with all of the courage of the Emperor's Space Marines. These guys have a bunch of flashlights, as many people like to call them. And they, they have shitty armor, they have stock equipment. Space Marines don't have that. Space Marines got so much more than that, and that's what makes them so much more powerful. And so much more better. And Tune it these guys Kill just... That thing. You know, these soldiers go out Alistair, Alistair, snipe that thing. I got it. And these guys go out and deal with that anyway. 75% complete. <laughs> And as much of a ladyboy as you want to try and call the Imperial Guard in this area, take into account, these guys are facing this shit down pretty hardcore. They know they're going to die, and they don't give a fuck. They just want to take a million bugs with them. <laughs> yep. Tyranid Ravana, eliminate it. There he is. I'm a little closer, you smug little shit. Biotoxin administered successfully, Commander. By the way, I can't. Damn it, those guards. Those guardsmen need to pull back. They're not I going to. Uh oh. They're a artifacts. survivors from third platoon. They're AI. Pull in and join the desire. fight, guardsmen. Guardsmen, for the love of God, pull back. It's okay. I can accommodate you. We have engaged. There, I'll buff them. Turn it down. Well, not pointed now. The bugs I, the bugs I was going to use last cycle, Mr. Launcher, already died. Yeah, but that cyclone missile launcher still damaged the carnifex. These monsters in a twisted nightmare. The whole damn planet is infected. Commander, we need to administer another dose of biotoxin at a second site. There are exposed veins further along the ridge. Best to destroy the rest of these nests, Commander. Armor gathered the Structure failing. Initiating the sequence. Damn, they ate a high powered shot. <sighs> and there goes the Armageddon. Oh, no, they did not eat a high powered shot. That was a standard shot, by the way. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes our uh, reinforcements. It looks like he's got control tool. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Damn, I am controlling all the big guys for this mission, aren't I? <laughs> yep, go ahead and show off the sweep fire attack on that structure, by the way. 
if you would, please. Assault cannon mirage! Yeah! That is with the explosive rounds, people! And look killed, what it did. Killed. <laughs> oh, I'm roasting these bugs tonight. He is just. This is Avatus. Oh, I got Avatus, not Tarkus. Never mind. He's just like, like squealing and maniac over the dogs. Yeah. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. Man. That's not our enemy crushed. There we go. That gets rid of that spawn point. This is a ticket for the Emperor Brothers. I think I might be an orc at heart, because I love big guns. Okay, I'm poisoning the second side. north and south approaches are both vulnerable. Thunderhawk, your commander. We have taken damage, but we deploy additional sentry guns in your hand. Be vigilant. Stack up Abbott's behind one of those roots. Scout squad, I already have. I'm moving Cyrus to another one. Uh, I had him retreat so that I could pick up uh, replacement squad mates. Spore mines destroyed. Damn. Now I, now I look at it, Damien Fool doesn't Ready have very much health, advance. does he? Look alive, brothers. Get ready. Here they come. Cyrus, where did you go? Turn it down. Uh, oh. he's, hang he's hanging back there. Okay, I'm gonna move him over to this. Point real quick. I love the mighty All strike. Precision initiated. Direct power wrath on you. Warrior beast, open fire. Turn it. It's down. not gonna matter in a hot minute. Oh my God, the assault cannon barrage is so fun to use on new forts of infantry. Poisoning 25% complete. Ally infantry destroyed. Yeah, tool is a little broken. Hold the line, damn it! We need only a word. This is Avatus. Guardsman, what the fuck are you doing? Do you even need my help over there, dude? No. <laughs> <laughs> Worry oh, about that beast! Open fire! You're gonna get my help anyway. <laughs> I was gonna say, worry about that angle. More units are coming that way. Yeah, you might want to reinforce Poisoning the Poisoning 50% wolf. complete. Oh no, crap, I didn't mean to use any defender. Fuck! It's okay. You'll heal through a lot of that damage. That really doesn't matter. Just get people over there to him. I've got this. Rest not. First, targets to engage. I'm gonna break this uh, spawning. Map. Warrior beast, open fire! Step to it, man. Mastercraft killing that shit. Kill. You know, one of these days, I think we should try to do a run with, with a shoddy Cyrus. Allied infantry. Uh, I do intend to show off how he works. The chapter's you really need to pay more attention to Thaddeus over there, dude. Take Tarkus and go help complete. out that area. I've got this. Just fine. Devastator Marines ready for combat. Target destroyed. Destroyed. Hostile movement up yeah, ahead, brothers. Tyranid Ravener, eliminate it. An ally's forces are under attack. Direct power. Where's the Ravener? Oh, it's fine. Tearing it down. This is Avatus. That's how long it took for him to run out of fucking energy, and then that happened. That took forever. Second dose delivered. Alright, uh, before we move on, I'm gonna Always have uh, the fool heal works. himself. As you wish. I'm just gonna get rid of these two Yes! Die, you alien scum! 
Yeah! All right! <laughs> Thank the Emperor! Our ally is losing forces. I'm oh, sorry, that was a over. comical victory. Not the war, guardsmen, no. But our part in it is at an end. But the hives here on the ground will recover soon enough. And I can assure you that we will not last long. And the Armageddon is gone. We have nowhere to fall back to. Come, Thaddeus. Did you imagine any of us would return from this mission? No. I suppose I did not. But I cannot imagine a better end than this. Then I guess we better take as many of the damn bugs with us as we can. Well said, Sergeant. <laughs> well said indeed, Abatus. <laughs> The sergeants in this Brothers, in the series are particularly make yourselves badass. yourselves ready. And may we meet again at the right side of the Emperor. Except Thaddeus fucks up and ends up on the left side of the Emperor. <laughs> you would be that guy. I'm sorry! <laughs> Well, I managed to save a single guardsman from that squad, if that means anything. Uh, I wasn't able to save the guardsmen that were way up up top ahead of our defensive position. There's still a couple guardsmen squad alive anyway. No, you save more than one of those guys. Another enemy crush. We are suffering heavy loss. This is Dying. Gabriel Angelos to the commanding forces on Typhon. Do you read? The fleet has arrived. Hold fast. You shall not shall fall, not this, fall day. this day. Commander, we have dropped a spread of relay beacons. Make your way to the closest one and activate it so we have a fix on your position. I am getting readings from one of the beacons, Commander. Marking it on map display. I'm gonna blow up a bunch of these damn things on our way. Tyranid wave coming in. Get to cover and cut All them right. down. Follow my lead. We're gonna get swarmed a lot. Direct our wrath. But if we take you. out these nests on the way, we won't get hit too hard. Enemy unit. Excellent space marines. Feel the raw power of my overwhelming Direct our wrath. Excellent space As it marines. penetrates your insectoid ass. We have engaged. Oh shit. Avidus! Excellent space marines. Force commander, scratch this day. Thank you. Tyranid wave down. Move up! Okay, that's what happened. I got flanked by another damn nest while I was trying to take out another. Okay, I hate that uh, the unit, the third unit you get, their symbol is not above their head. Yeah, I don't like that either. Makes it makes them really hard to track down. It can. Target acknowledged. I feel oh, like the developers very easily could have compensated for that and the suspicion alone. That's eliminated. But I don't know shit about coding, so realistically, that actually could be a lot more difficult than I think it is. Our foes oh, grow there's some brave ass Tyranids here. Uh, not as brave as you think, there's a lot of them. Yeah, now their numbers are looking a little more respectful. Oh, Jesus. Groupness everywhere. We might want to clear a lot more out before we head for that relay meet. I mean, isn't he gonna turn into a hilarious, uh, one hilariously one side of Fuster Cluck once uh, Gabriel joins the fight? Yeah, it's gonna do that whether we do this or not, though. The, the real question is, how much fun do you want to have? I, for one, gain an immense enjoyment just from the sheer massive army of space marines we're about to get. Hey. It's 
gonna be a fun time. All right, let's get up that hill. Yeah, that should reduce enough of their numbers that we should have less trouble getting up here. For anyone wondering, yes, these brood nests will puristically spawn more reinforcements. No, you don't get anything special for getting rid of all of them on the map before executing the uh, the drop pod or the drop the relay beacon uh, objective. But it will reduce their numbers if you get rid of most of them, or at least a fair amount of them. And as you can see, there's a lot of damn things. I'm sorry, I really don't know where the fuck I was going for a minute. I've already got Thaddeus on it. Good work. Beacon activated. Coordinates received. Coordinates received. Drop, Drop pods, pods away! away. For the Empire! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the, for the turkey shoot. Yep, we're about to see one of the greatest boondoggles in the Imperium's history. The Tyranids are all the turn it down. down. Keeps dropping worthless power armors and shit. At least it's not Rest dropping good war gear. Direct our wrath. Here they come. Enemy units. Target acknowledged. Taste the fury of the Gabriel Blood Angelos. Raven. Angelos. We have engaged, Commander. We and have I have more control task of him. This cursed place. The <laughs> hive mind is using a powerful alpha creature to maintain control over its land-based forces on this world. We must kill this beast. It will fall, Captain Angelos. The beast nests at the top of these ruins. Move out when you are ready, Whole and I will squads accompany attack you. Marines. The rest of our forces will guard right, yeah, our flanks. Yeah, I may as well show this off. <laughs> Attack Marine squads all along these perimeters. And look at all of the enemies that they have to fight, including Carnifexes with Bioplastic cannons. That said, I'm fine with letting them try and scrap with that shit since this is basically very scripted and they're pretty much invulnerable. So let's just get over to where the Hive Tyrant Alpha is. There's no point in scrapping with all of those enemies. Uh, they're all basically it makes for one of the greatest set pieces I've ever seen, except for this one squad of tank marines over here who's not firing at anything. They're just kind of sitting there. It really takes you out of the moment. And then you look at something like this, and you feel a part of something glorious again. Sorry, I'm wait. so far behind. We kind of hey. have extra heavy asses we gotta drag. Come on, fool! Stop being so fat! <laughs> I want to see you haul a 20-ton mech I suit! I imagine that's what he would tell me! It's like, do you have any idea how hard it is to haul one of these fucking mech armors around? <laughs> to be fair, dreadnoughts are not very fast. They're just one of the most hardened fucking weapons platforms they have access to. So Gabriel Angelos has a few hilarious abilities. First is Warcry, which basically makes everybody invincible for a short time. Uh, it's like a much more broken version of... The Rosarius. The Rosarius, yeah. And there's also the Sunder Armor ability, which reduces the defenses of an enemy. And then he also has My Foe Shall Fall. A very, very powerful... Uh, Attack that hits really hard. And, oh my God! Look at this fucking high fire. Found your target. <laughs> <laughs> your is <laughs> the chapter and the sector owe you a great debt. Holy shit! Oh, and and it drops a fucking a, a piece of war gear too. Yeah. You <laughs> could have done it better, Cyrus. <laughs> That would have actually been a challenge if we'd done that on hard mode. <laughs> Long ago, the Emperor foresaw humanity's need for warriors unlike any others. Mm -hmm. 
Warriors who could face the unbearable horror lurking among the stars. How can you face the unbearable? Who, on the day of certain defeat, would be victorious? <laughs> you and your space marines are those warriors, Commander. Thanks to you, Look human at that life still thrives void. in Aurelia. They are ripping the blood the ravens hive fleet still to have shreds. their recruiting world. You're talking over and the Imperium Cameron. still thrives in the Aurelia sector. Your deeds will never be forgotten. Who fucking rah? Well done! Our strike, strike forces force. destroy the Tyranid Hive Fleet and save Subsector Aurelia. The Central Hive Ship dead, the Hive Fleet has disintegrated. A chapter will purge its remains from Aurelia thanks to the leadership of commanders and heroes such as you. You have earned the title Templar of Doom. So, obviously, had we collected a couple of extra uh, things, that probably would have been a bit of a better score. Um, that said, we were mostly here just to show off all the campaigns, glorious moments, and some really fun builds that you can use for characters. We will be continuing this on in Chaos Rising, and then we will finish it off in Retribution. I'm considering ways of doing all of Retribution's campaigns. I may end up having to do a few of them solo. Uh, that's not really too big a deal, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I've got a few extra friends that I'm going to try and roadie run the playthroughs with. Just to try and show everything off and get everything done. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching this. I am so sorry it took so long to finish, but I ended up having some severe scheduling issues, and I had to totally readjust to a new work schedule and a bunch of new shit. And I'm also doing D&D &D as a DM on the side. So I hope everybody had an amazingly fun time watching this. I know I had a lot of fun playing it. I know my friend Foxtrot here had fun playing it with me. We'll see you all in Chaos Rising. Peace. I'm going to go ahead and let the credits play because if I don't, I might get us <laughs> in annoying trouble before I stop the recording. Oh, here's the intro cutscene video. Shut up, Eldar. If I were to recommend anything about people who wanted to be really hardcore in the Warhammer 40k fandom and really get deeper into the Warhammer 40k series and you don't mind watching this game on a different LP, I would probably recommend the Time Warriors playthrough of this game and Dawn of War 1 because man they talk some serious shit about the lore of this franchise and they know a hell of a lot more about it than I did. Uh, they played this game on hard mode to showcase how frustrating this game can really be when it wants you to be. Uh, and I refused to play the Primarch difficulty because the Primarch difficulty would not have been very fun to watch, in all honesty. Um, I mean, I mean, if you're looking for a couple of idiots just screaming and cursing in pure rage and anger, I guess that could be an entertaining watch. But oh, it's well, only not only for that one verse, for one for one group. Yeah, not only that though, like the the sheer level of of durability that enemies have the sheer level of ridiculous sponginess that they have becomes unbelievably absurd on that difficulty. Uh, I I haven't sampled it yet, but I've seen people try to do Primark playthroughs. It's a little bit absurd. It's a little ridiculous. Uh, this game, though, has a ton of love put into it and a ton of adoration and hard work put into it. And this game easily shows that off with every detail that we can find. And thank you, Relic, for giving us something this glorious to play and enjoy. It was an absolute entertainment. And I'm glad that I could show it to somebody else. I hope you all enjoyed my maniacal laughter. It is. Uh, I'm sure they did. Uh, 
I think I temporarily turned into a corn worshipper there for half a second. <laughs> <laughs> or a zinch worshipper, the way you were laughing. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you turned to a corn worshiper, we would have been hearing a lot of blood for the blood god. Uh, that is an amazing intro video. Yeah, though, I gotta admit. That is a really good intro video. I believe it is meant to be the uh, pre lo pro lo uh, Bob. Oh, what's what I'm looking for here? Pre. Pro, um... Essentially, the prologue to the campaign. It takes place. Shortly before the start of this of the vanilla campaign, um, I think, um, I'm not really sure that I that see the problem with that is I don't that doesn't hold up very well because, uh, that was Farseer. Um, what was her name? It wasn't Tal 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 No, uh, Altariel. No, no, it was Taldir. Or Idranel. Idranel. That was Idranel. That just got like chainsaw there and that doesn't fit because she dies on meridian in the campaign uh i think what that was was them basically trying to set the stage for the whole of shit that you were about to be walking into when you played this game and the the really big uh no, it, like if, if i could if i could poke at the plot here and it's not really poking at the plot quite so much as a race handling of the plot because the eldar do not handle the plot of this game very well uh but they have a very long history of doing this. They are so arrogant, stupid, and foolhardy, they often think that they're smarter than literally everyone else in the room. And while that sometimes ends up being true, the level to which they take their arrogance knows no bounds, whether it's Dark Eldar or regular Eldar that you're talking about. So much so to the point where they think that even though their species is slowly dying and they can't reproduce anywhere near as fast as they're getting slaughtered, and their technology just isn't holding up the way it used to to all of the different threats in the universe that uh, they can take on a war on four fronts on their own with enemies they didn't have to be enemies with in certain cases, particularly the, the Imperial Space Marines here. Like, the whole reason they were in uh, Subsector Aurelia at all is revealed in this game to an extent. There's a craft world on Typhon that they were trying to protect that had crashed there that they couldn't get out of the planet's crust. And they needed to dig it up and then fold it into the webway to push it safely into the heart of Eldar space where they could use it to resurrect a whole shitload of, of their people in the form of like Wraith Guard and, and, and Wraith Lords and shit that would have been really helpful to them in coming battles and would have also really helped the survival of their species. Here's the fucking problem. They had a reason for wanting to keep this sector out of the hands of the Tyranids. And instead of talking to the Space Marines and the humans that led this sector, which the Space Marines in this sector, um, they could not. It was stated in one of these missions as an endgame, as an end, as an end uh, level dialogue. They could not lose this planet without basically losing their chapter. They had a paramount reason to want to fight and protect the whole sector. The Eldar could have played on that, allied with the Space Marines, and in exchange for that allegiance, be allowed to take their uh, craft world and go. I mean, I don't see why the Space Marines wouldn't consent to that. But they didn't. They masqueraded an orc swarm that was an orc invasion and caused a wog that put the entire sector at risk and then spent half the game in the first mission, several missions sabotaging the defenses of the space marines the orcs and actually weakening what they were what they did to try and slow the tyranids uh, that when they arrived and that actually made it almost impossible what they were doing uh to allow the humans in this sector to detect the Tyranid invasion. But they sat there and, and you know, hypocritically piss all over the humans for not being able to see what's coming when they've been destroying every means that the humans have of seeing what's coming and don't let them see it. Uh, and make them fucking ignorant to this so that they focus on the wrong enemies. The, like, the Eldar deserve everything that they get in this game 
because they were just really stupid with how they handled it. <laughs> uh, but that is very true to how Eldar tend to behave. Uh, so much so that they decided they'd rather blow up Meridian to cripple the Hive rather than do something with it. Uh, under the aid of their allies. So, uh, thank you all very much for watching. We're gonna we're gonna do Chaos Rising next. Hopefully, when we get started on Chaos Rising, we'll have a consistent schedule of sitting down, recording, and putting up videos once a week. We'll see what we can put together. Uh, again, this was a really fun ride. I had a lot of entertainment with it. Fox, how do you feel? After after a Zeno's murder spree like that, I feel pretty. Pretty darn good, I gotta tell you. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. <laughs> so, I don't know if we're going to set up Chaos Rising's first video today, but I do know that we are going to finish the rest of the expansions to it. There's a couple of recording programs that I want to purchase and try out. Uh, Bandicam and Fraps, I'm told, are pretty respectable ways to record a lot of videos. So I'm thinking of using those instead of the software that I've been using, which isn't compatible with a whole lot. But there's a few mods that I was also considering downloading for Resident Evil 4's LP. Mostly just to make the game look better. Uh, they were mostly just cosmetic mods to make the make everything look even better. But, cosmetic mods are always fun. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to download anything that's going to change the way the game plays, because if I'm going to do a Let's Play, I want to Let's Play the game proper. Uh... But thank you very much for me. I'll see you all later. Fox, feel free to tell them your goodbyes, too. Oh, y'all have a nice night, everybody. Oh, Live long and praise the Emperor. Yep, Emperor be praised.